Hola, and welcome to Tamarindo, Costa Rica. This is in the province of Guanacaste. Hola, senor. So, we are here on a Friday afternoon. Busy, busy. Let's check out the beach first. If this is your first time with Sights and Sounds, welcome. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you get the bell when we make a new video. beach as it happens horses going by lowish tide lowish tide right now but you can see people out there surfing very busy beach very busy so people are surfing all the way out there lots of people waiting for waves but it looks like it's pretty low tide right now you can see kind of where the Waves break. Restaurants all the way along the beach. And this is a very long beach as well. And you can see how busy it is. It's incredibly busy. So if this is your first time joining, be sure to read the caption below. I'll do a written write-up of the location. You can find some uh, links for services as well that I find useful when you're traveling and check out sightsandsounds.co for all our videos and write-ups in one convenient place so let's go walk horses very cool so where we find ourselves is essentially at the end of the road this is my first time in Tamarindo so when you come into town, it is very busy. It's very busy. But of course, it is a Friday afternoon, so it's going to be busy. So this little roundabout where we find ourselves is the end. And the main road with all the restaurants and shops, tiendas, it runs parallel to the beach. So it's actually a really interesting beach. Most of the ones that we've been on, there will be a road that runs off but uh, this one is very cool. There's a bunch of little pathways that go down into the beach, similar to our video in Hako. But uh, this, this town is very cool, very much cleaned up. Here you can find 30% off or on, I don't know. Hola. So these shops are all very nice. I mean, this is a very nice town. And you can see the amount of people that are coming in here is incredible. Super, super busy. Of course, you're always going to find shops with trinkets and tourist stuff. If that's what you're into. You will definitely find something like that no matter where you go. Italian cafe. Fantastic. Hola, senor. Audiovisual, eh? eh? Ah, yeah, audiovisual. <laughs> you know? Bueno, Pura bueno. Vida. Pura vida, senor. Gracias.
got to brush up on my Spanish before I can be conversational. So this road goes up somewhere, somewhere. There'll be a link below to the Google Maps pin where we start the video so you can reference from there if you're staying here in a hotel or anything like that. See up in the distance there, there's some hotels perhaps would have a beach view, maybe at the top. It's a really nice restaurant. Cool. Little sitting area. Swings. It's a cool little river. Hola. So there's some people surfing right now. And uh, you can see people waiting. It's about waist deep right now. So probably a good time for beginners to head up there. Some nice accommodation areas. And I'm sure lots and lots of restaurants. There's a guy doing a hand, head, headstand. Both that man and his bicycle are upside down. Impressive. Marindo Diria Beach Resort. So this is a resort. Get to see the proximity to the beach with this one. Nice well-kept lawn. The lawn chairs out. So now you can see the people out there surfing. Magnitudes and magnitudes better than I would be doing. And I can assure you that you can find somebody who's surfing here along the beach. Usually you'll pay about 50 US dollars for a two-hour lesson, which isn't too bad. Somebody will take you out there and make sure that you can stand up by the end of the lesson. So, wow, that is a very, very long beach. You can see the entire gulf here. I don't know where Tamarindo ends and the new beach begins. I know off in the distance there, there's Mount Apollo, and there's some more beaches. But this is Tamarindo proper, so 
That's the beach we're looking at now. Goes our horse friends. Horses, I believe you'll pay about fifty dollars a person per horse. But of course, everything is negotiable all the time. So if you have a bigger group of people, I'm sure you'll get a discount. As you can see here, there are lifeguards here in the in the lifeguard lookout that's good to see and with the amount of people that are surfing it's probably a good idea and there's probably kids out there i can see little kids out there so that's good let's head back up to the main strip You will find a much uh, calmer area if you just head uh, about 30 minutes away from here. But definitely if you're looking for the restaurant scene and the surfing, bars, everything's here. So we've got lots of surfing shops right here. Good to know. A couple more restaurants. So something to consider when you're getting around here, if you do rent a car, is parking, accessibility, right, the speed that you're gonna be driving in. You see a lot of small cars, navigating around here with a big car would be problematic, but people get these side-by-sides that you're seeing going by there. People also will rent or buy golf carts. Golf carts have a fair bit of utility in Costa Rica. Definitely not suitable for going between cities, but intercity, they are very useful. There's a very nice restaurant. and a nice little river. Just dried up. When it rains more, everything fills up with water fairly quickly. Agua salada, vara y cochina. This is a very nice little well-kept 
pathway here to the beach. So here, right in front of us, you can see we have a little makeshift gym. That's very cool. Various bars, a tire, some barbells with concrete weights, some rings. It's good. And one for the for the kids right there. And then, of course, on this side, we've got some volleyball nets and some well-maintained little volleyball courts. Let's go check out the water. So this is a Friday afternoon. I'm sure you can imagine that this will be much, much busier on a Saturday. So this appears to be the spot if you're up in Guanacaste on the Pacific side. Lots of people surfing out here. And it's interesting too because even the bigger surfers, the adults are out there, uh, they're only in about waist high water and they're still getting waves. So that's, that's good. There's some accommodations up on the hill. Very nice, very good views. All right, so there you have it. Tamarindo, Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Very popular tourist destination. Once again, remember to like, follow, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you can get the latest videos when we upload them.